a lot of uh, very interesting guests, and your calls welcome. We'll put together this list, make it available on my website, jordanrich.com, within a couple of days. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's do that. Let's go right to our first guest author, and we have a bunch of uh, folks joining us, many of them local. His name is Jonathan Womack. His book, his latest book, is called... Jonathan, welcome to WBZ. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well, Jordan. How are you? Great, great. You, of course, have been uh, very busy, and uh, you do a lot of interesting things, including graphic novels, right? Yes, my first book is being turned into a graphic novel. And that first book was? A Cry for a Hero. It's fiction's right. first out-of-body superhero. In the latest one, uh, called Old Souls, got a hint with the title as to where we're going here, uh, you've got, uh, uh, you, you travel 65 million years in the past to the present, and what's happening? Just give us a quick synopsis. Well, it's a bit like the X-Men, I guess. It's a group of spiritually evolved, reincarnated superheroes that originated uh, back on Mars before things went haywire there, and uh, life made it to Earth, and, and then here we are today. Now, these, these superheroes are trying to prevent a repeat of this ancient destruction that took place on Mars. They, they're trying to prevent that from happening on Earth. This is one of your pet, someone's going to say pet projects, but pet topics, isn't it? Um, you've done some work with the Monroe Institute, I understand? Yes, when I was, uh, when I was young, I had to play dead to survive a terrifying encounter, and uh, it worked. I, I, I got up and looked down and saw myself lying on the ground, and I was a ghost, and I like, what the? And, and uh, <laughs> really, so out of the out-of-body experience, which we've talked about on the program with other guests, is is real. It, it does happen, and people can quantify it. And in your books, you're able to take us on this great journey with, with fictional characters. Yeah, I thought it would be better to introduce this subject uh, rather than start a cult, you know, write some entertaining books. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about the graphic novel approach. That's something that a lot of uh, books are now turning out to be, and, and they're very successful on occasion. What prompts you to do a graphic novel? Uh, would you have a market for that that you can see out there? Well, yes. Um, you know, a movie is my goal, and my agent suggested that we go for the graphic novel because Hollywood is drawing on so many titles for, for movies. Mm -hmm. and so that would be the first one, Cry for mm, Yes. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. And you're from this area, right, John? Originally, I'm from uh, northern Indiana, and I but moved... You, but you live here now? I've been here 30 years, yeah. Right. And I understand you you still work at Harvard University? I do. Son of a gun. All the cool people work at Harvard University. Yeah. But uh, how many of them talk about out-of-body experiences in a regular basis? <laughs> More than you know, now that I've been working there some years. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, uh, before we move on here, tell us again about the hero in your book, because it really involves a, a good classic kind of superhero or, or super guy named Jonah, right? Yes, Jonah Trek. Uh, yeah, he's a war hero and he's starring in the Knowledge Channel's Primal Man and they drop him into the Willy Wax in Montana and he's got to survive for seven days but lo and behold he's attacked as he jumps out of the plane it's blown up and he's attacked and this woman shows up out of nowhere and saves him miraculously <laughs> and uh, she tells him he's he's one of these old souls with his superpowers. He hasn't discovered him yet, but uh, they're part of this group that has to save the earth, and they got to get going, and the book all happens in like a day. It's very fast-paced, like a movie. It's movie all over the place. J.J. <laughs> Abrams can't wait to buy you the right. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Jonathan, uh, great for you to kick things off here tonight as our first author guest, and we want to send people to your website. John's got a whole slew of really fun books and very interesting. They'll make you think. Jonathan Womack, W-O-M-A-C-K dot com, correct? Correct. John, great to have you on the show. We're glad you're part of it. Thank you, Jordan. All right. Take care, man. Bye. Bye-bye.